Hey guys, Eric here, the Dare List Dad, and today I am re 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 rewinding the clock back to August last year with some never before seen footage from our time in France. <music> In this dare, which was self-assigned, I had to go up Alpe d'Huez, which is one of the biggest climbs of the Tour de France. If you watch any sort of Tour de France cycling, it's in there probably every second or third year. It's 14 kilometers, 21 hairpin turns up a mountain, and I didn't have a bike or any bike gear whatsoever while traveling. So I had to borrow, and I borrowed not a road bike, but a transit bike that was heavy as anything and had a baby seat on the back. I borrowed a funny looking helmet from a friend that I met in Grenoble and the big challenge was get up there even though you don't have the right gear. Here's how it went. And remember if you like our videos you can click subscribe and you can do it now while you're waiting. in Bourg d'Orsan, uh, which is the base of Alpe d'Huez. Uh, the bus has just dropped me off here. But for me, it was a bucket list item back in 2011 when I did it with my dad. And uh, the good thing about a bucket list is that you can really scratch it out properly. So I'm going to do it again. Um, this is my machine today. It's uh, like more of a transit bike than a road bike, but um, oh, it just makes it more of a challenge. So. Really looking forward to it, and um, yeah, let's start climbing. This is gonna be fun. So I'm a tiny part of the way up. I've done one switchback. <laughs> um, that's as far as I've come from down there. And uh, you can see already how immense the view is gonna be. Crazy big mountains out here. And uh, you can see all the way down there is the road where I was just then. We have 20 corners to go. 20 hairpins like this. Um, there's 21 in total, so big ride to go. What's really cool as well is the inscription's still in the road. It's cool, like in Tour de France time, you'd have all sorts of stuff written on here with all the different riders' names and all that sort of stuff. And uh, it's, uh, it's kind of quiet when there's no racing going on, but um, still it's just such a beautiful ride and um, I need to get off the phone and start actually riding up this thing or I'll never get there. Okay, bye. turns to go so I'm past halfway which is a bit of a relief my legs are a bit sore but uh, so far so good loving the view and man I forgot how steep this thing is I'll show you why it's all worth it <laughs> just watch this are right, you ready for this turn check out where I am Oh yeah! This place is amazing. And uh, it's just one of those things, you gotta progress one foot after the other, right? Whew. And keep going, the sun's out now, which is a welcome relief. So it's cold in the valley of the mountains. So, you gotta do things that challenge you. So I uh, now when you travel full time, you can't exactly pack everything you would have wished, um, and so bike pants wasn't an option, which means we have to be resourceful, and uh, forcing yourself to be resourceful can be actually a really good thing. Now traveling with a toddler definitely has its perks at times, definitely has its challenges, but it also has its perks because bike pants wasn't an option for me to pack, but 
nappies make for awesome padding. <laughs> So I've been shoving that down my pants, I put it between my skins, um, under my shorts, and it's been awesome. It's been comfy as you like, even though the seat is hard as a rock. So, there's a little tip for you guys at home. So sometimes it's good to travel with a little kid. Time to go down. Guys, there you have it. I've conquered up to Wes on not the greatest equipment. It uh, goes to show that you don't need the best equipment, and when you set it in your mind to go and do it, you can go and achieve it. I had a lot of fun. Hope you guys get the chance one day to do the same. So another dare complete, and it feels good to tick that one off the list. Hope you find some sort of inspiration in that, that you don't always need to have the right gear in order to get started or complete a goal. If you want to keep up with some of the dares that we've been doing, check out the playlist on our YouTube channel. Subscribe so you don't miss any. Or even better, you can send us a dare. Head to our website, darelist.family, and click on the big yellow button that says submit a dare. Self-explanatory, right? See you in the next video. Do not achieve a role.